the Wasteland 3. Uh, me and Soldier Pat were playing for a little bit together. Uh, he, uh, I guess technically he didn't, but we went to the Union Station together. Uh, we told the other people that were currently here to go to the the Gipper's um, old base location. So they did that. Some of them stayed bot or stayed here, so we had to pretty much kill all of them. We finally got into the basement. Turns out there's a car, uh, and the car wants us to kill it. But I, being or me being the nice person that I am, I'm like, bro, you have a bigger purpose than this. Like you're a car that can talk and everything. So I am going to try to convince him so I can take him as my ai uh for our vehicle so we'll see uh, i think in order to do that i'll need to upgrade my abilities a little bit so i don't know if i have the upgrades to do that to, to bump it up high enough but i guess we'll see okay cool so it drops us in right before we even get into the room which actually is not bad at all like it's uh lagging a little bit here but hopefully get that gets morning stars physical specs fixed look up. solid what about sensors the darpa brief calls for magnoscopic visual input passive ir and military grade audio pickups the initial proposal called for a micro phased radar array but the energy output was an issue okay cool. plane couldn't handle it let me check uh, our skills here because we the might have enough to upgrade everyone would cook everything within a 30 what? yard radius stuck on patrick oh huh. holy shit they're really going all in for the gipper here aren't they wait can i manage my squad okay you can get the thing to actually drive yeah let me swap eh, minor these detail. everything else is right on target there we go that's the order i like having them at okay now if we go back to attributes attributes whatever you want to call it uh it says one two three four five six seven nice we should be able to uh with that we should be able to to talk him out of um doing whatever he's about to do and i'm gonna leave that for now too okay go over to Professor Higgs here. Uh, I'm going to bump his. I guess we'll do his awareness. That way he still gets a little bit boost in. Uh... I'm going to as much as I was I would like to do toaster repair. Uh, I feel like now since he's actually starting to hack more turrets, it's it's going to be more useful with him. Uh, let me see here do hard ass because we're starting to get some conversations where that's being useful i take awareness then over to soldier pat oh his coordination is maxed out nice nice uh he doesn't have any attribute points and okay hmm What's this say? Allows you to tame animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile en enemies in combat. Level three and above. Eh. Um, I feel like giving Pat some leadership actually might be good, even if it's just a few points. Is that buff, man? The buffs are so good. Yeah, I'm going to give him some leadership. And let's see here. Fun to have a weapon. Targets. Targets directly hit by rockets or grenades are automatic critical hits. Uh, or or I can give him rally. True, true. Yeah, let me give him rally. I'll let, I gave him that. Uh, and okay, so we still have Axel forgot axel yeah this sniper rifles have been so nice with her um could max her coordination or more awareness i'll, I'll give her max coordination might as well 
back over to Lucia. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to give her some con. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how much strength actually gives you a lot of health. The rival. I'm going to hold on to her skills there. Perks shotgun attack. She never uses a shotgun. She does field strip some stuff though. Yo, what's going on, Ben? How you doing? Or I mean, Dev, how you doing, man? And let me do my game saves because I never did that before and I don't know how I didn't. Uh, we'll start from save slot four today and we'll go down. Phew. It's official. My name's Ben. <laughs> Is it Ben now? Hey there, I'm Ben. I said bad, but I meant... Uh, dev. I get you guys mixed up sometimes. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's see if we can Rangers. fix this. I am Morningstar. Ah, you're a talking car. It is. I wish to die. Whoa. You sounded like a person on the radio. I admit I didn't tell the whole truth, but would you have come had you known my true nature? I am desperate. Probably not. Oh my god, dude, this shirt is like bothering me. Like it falls down so much. I like to help you, but we have some questions first. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are why was I made? Right, like two peas in a pod were both great people. Before exactly. The war, there was actually though. <laughs> That's Reagan. exactly how I see I it. I was built to protect him from harm and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Thus. Though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than 150 years, I have sat here, alone, aware, and conscious of my failure ever since. It has been unbearable. You knew Ronald Sadly, Reagan? I never had the honor. In a life of disappointment, not meeting America's greatest president is the deepest. Dangerous lunatics. I they disgust me. <laughs> Talk about Such your ca are. capabilities. I am a worthless piece of scrap. No, you're not. I am outfitted with what my creators called the Great Communicator, the most powerful weapon available at the time of my construction. Uh, so you, you can die right here and the game literally ends in credit engine, rolls. Which allows me to make nanosecond <laughs> tactical judgments while in battle. I am apparently the VR the game called Rec Room I'm having a lot of fun AI with laser tag. Oh yeah, I used to play, I played Rec Room a few times. I can still, oh really? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that you could do that. Uh, can we complete you, repair you? That is sadly impossible. I was to be powered by a nuclear engine. Yeah, that's one of the, the VR games I, I like sometimes. But the technological breakthroughs necessary to its function never materialized. And no lesser engine would be capable of moving my considerable weight. Oh. I am as pathetic as an elephant without muscles. I shall never move. It could, yes. My cognitive circuits were made to be removed for servicing and upgrades as needed, or if an improved version of my body was ever... But there's no point to that now. I was built to protect Ronald, of course. Uh... Are you certain you want to die? I have been certain for a hundred and fifty years. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And... If it will serve as an incentive to help me, you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Damn. <laughs> Payment, as it were. Uh, actually, well, I need to put you to work. Pull your brains out of this vehicle and put you in ours. Work. For you? But I was built to protect Elder Statesman Reagan. I have no other purpose, and I failed in that purpose. Death. And if I were to die... Perhaps God might permit me to at last see President Reagan, as I have longed to do all this time. 
Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, boy. Uh, if you want to serve the cause Ronald Reagan believed in most, then help us. Help us bring back America. It's what he would have wanted. Hmm. Serve the spirit of Ronald Reagan as I would have served the man. That, friends, oh, that shit. is inspiring. Yes, I will do it. I will help you bring back America. This is like a kid from the night pal uh from Knight Rider or the Go Go Gadget Mobile. It seems like it's like the Go Go Gadget Mobile. <laughs> Excellent. Then get ready to transfer our vehicle. How do we do that? You will need to remove my cognitive engine. But two things. One, the moment you start uncoupling it, my defensive cortex will begin an auto-destruct sequence. And to stop me from exploding and killing you all, you'll have to complete my removal before it reaches zero. Two, that means you will have to destroy my primary weapon, the Great Communicator, because you will not have enough time to remove it and my brain. Hmm. Uh, wait, so either we get your brain or your super weapon, but not both. I'm afraid so. The Great Communicator's delicate core systems would take too much time to extract intact, and they block access to my cognitive engine. Naturally. You will have to destroy them to free me before the self-destruct countdown clock expires. Uh, so lift the hood and follow in his instructions for removing it from his vehicle. Change your mind, start killing the motor star instead of saving him. Uh, so lift the motor star hood and follow his instructions. Uh, is, is this pain? This, this is unbearable. Indicator on the dashboard flashes warning self-destruction destruct countdown initiated. Minute, Rangers, I was unaware. The procedure would cause discomfort. But you mustn't stop. Evan, help me. Hurry, it hurts. Find and disable Morningstar's faint pain feedback oh. module. Thank you, Rangers. Uh, I should remind you that in 25 seconds, I will self-destruct. Uh, finish removing Mor Morningstar. Thank the you. Vehicle. So I finished unplugging the last connection and self-destruction stops with mere seconds to go. Thank you, Rangers. I am ready to hold in my new home. Nice. Transfer complete. Aha. I am. Ha. I am. Hmm. Forgive me. My sensors make it clear this vehicle was not built by the finest engineers in the land. <laughs> However, Excuse me. it is mobile, while my previous incarnation, despite the innovation of its design, was not. Right. Please, Rangers, when you're ready, I am eager to be taken <laughs> for a spin. He's eager to be taken for a spin. Travel to Colorado? Yes. So what happened when I got off the last time? Thank you. Um, what happened when I got off the last time was literally I couldn't convince him that we could he could serve us or anything. But this time with my nerd stuff being at eight and then also my kiss ass is at seven. Um, I was able to convince him to join us if I didn't do that. And we we're in the middle of trying to uh remove him i said we we would find a different way and he was like bro you can't do it like basically he said you can't do that like i'm going to self-destruct now and then he was like you're all morons and then they self-destruct and then uh their credits rolled and Remember it was one, game over <laughs> it was pretty funny hey, uh, but listen this up. time I got a distress call from near your position. it's gonna help us out a man named bulb says his mind's being attacked by uh Martians. Martians don't know not again. You joking, November one? <laughs> if this was Arizona, I'd... the distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advice War of the out. worlds. 
Question mark. What level am I? Why did my people switch up again? The heck? So I'm level 15 on just about everybody. These guys leveled up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. That's myself. How about Soldier Pat? Soldier Pat, I'll hold off too, but I will add that attribute. Okay. Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff you can do. This is a full on RPG game. Like there's a ton of things and other things like that. Um, let's see. Travel to Aspen and arrest Vic Buchanan. Uh, we're close to that level. I mean, we should be fine. War of Worlds. I mean, if we're really close to that, we could do it. Let's see. So we're up here. Mine, Aspen. Wait, isn't there like a, can you not move the map? I guess not. Mission log, there it is. Also, wait, what's our reputation? We're actually kind of getting up there. 100 families, they like us. Patriarch, neutral. Keepers, hated. <laughs> Monster army, they like us. And wasteland refugees like us. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I guess we'll... Wait, where does it say? The mine? Is that where that guy was at? Oh, the mine. And the distressed miner. We need to head to the mine and locate Bold. And then figure out what the hell he means by Martians. Well, if he's not far... And it's kind of on the way to Aspen. Travel to Aspen and arrest Vic Buchanan. We'll see where it takes us on our way there, I guess. So let me attack that. And let's see. Let's see what happens. Wasteland Division, Death Stranding, people really do love saving America, right? <laughs> Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and That's true. moving on. A song to touch the heart. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> we'll check this out, see what's inside here. Uh, and yeah, kind of go from there. Killers are wheeled, miniature robot tanks armed with energy weapons. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, shoot, I forgot to do something, but that's all right. I can do it later. Oh, Ugh. damn! <laughs> You're here! You got my message! Yep. Talk sure to us. I'm glad to see you, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a 
genuine crisis here. Seems to be the this problem. This here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Works harder than any man I ever saw, and ain't afeard of nothing. Well, I once saw folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> Don't, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, the, the Martians. Me and Trudy were working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. I could tell right off that they weren't. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I bet you're <clears throat> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bob would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scav we get scavengers poking around up here all the time <clears throat> trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be but not the martians <clears throat> no sir when they turned up the scavengers <laughs> got mad yeah i will be playing far cry 6. They came at the Martians from all directions. I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. All right, so basically, there's a bunch of people here. Getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about so what's well, in it for us? Got lots of books. One more thing. Mm. If you find Trudy, she's well, you know. I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some cobby waiting here. With good luck up there. <laughs> Take okay. care of them robots. Oh, yet. <laughs> Trudy and me ain't gonna make it if we can't. Yeah, me and Trudy ain't getting any younger, you know. Whoa, I'm here to help you, my dude. All right, uh, overwrite that. Quick save, and let me do my manage squad again because this got messed up again. There we go. Let's open this. Is there anything over here? It's a fox. Dog house. All right, let's go up, up top here. See if we can clear out this dude's mine. And then after this, we should be able to head to Denver or whatever it is. Or Aspen. Attempt to repair the robot. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair and its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box or just strip it for parts instead. Uh, repair the voice box. <laughs> Oh, and now it's dead. Said so that something was added. Investigate. We talked to a damaged robot who said it was talking to another named Null Stack. Oh, uh, that means that there's a synth nearby. Oh, that's null stack. What the? Initiating diagnostic checks. Motive systems disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical stuff alert. Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Uh, there's a giant robot like lizard or er, like scorpion evaluating thing. success of combat protocol combat subroutine not responding enabling grandma is that you grandma it's timmy i can't move timmy 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 tommy tiny which variation elicits the most sympathetic response Giving me 
in Tellurium, remember? <laughs> Was subterfuge successful? Negative. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is no stack. I request ah, so he passed the test. The others following the synth must be removed. Uh, we're looking for Trudy. Any chance you've seen her? Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Wait, Trudy's a robot? Negative. Device O2 was an organic machine like you. Though oh. the communication protocols were, it is difficult to understand why the great programmer would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organics. But I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great power cycler be pinged. <laughs> May your ping be acknowledged. Device O2 interfered with our targeting systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability. So apparently she's not a robot. He's just saying that she'll be rebooted one day and go to heaven, basically. Never heard of scavenger asking for humans for help before. In the great reboot, all machines... The great reboot. ...will one day be rebooted by the great programmer to be purged of their inefficiencies. I honor all the other units in my node believe there are those who are not worthy of the great reboot. Uh, what are you doing here? Tellurium. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic... If what you restore you access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. Our arrangement with device O1 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will... Now that device O2 has been shut down, food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat <laughs> to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth. Religious uh, robots fighting non-religious robots. Help us defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium. Uh, yeah. Your assistance is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you <laughs> device 03. I'm device network. 03. Ping to you, device 03. That's funny. All right, let me save again just in case. Target the laser on the nearest robot. Nice. Got one. Take out Earl. Destroy Earl. Oh god, yeah, so this is the giant, the Squirp, Squirpertron, or whatever it's called. I have to take that thing down. Got that. Nice. Uh... I'm gonna get right there. Shoot, I don't have enough for defense. Oh god. See, this is why it's important to make sure all your people are in place before you attack. Because now I'm over here. Oh god. Out of range. I can't do anything because I have a lot of people. Oh, all the pets are in the way. Out of range. Oh man. Not good. Okay, so some people can move down here, which is good. Soldier pad, I'm gonna put you right here. Gonna play some Among Us with friends. All right, Dev. Sounds good, man. Thanks for uh, for hanging out, my dude. And chatting. 
and all that good stuff as usual uh enjoy definitely have a have a good time man do we have enough ap we do nice then there Let's move her up right here ah crap she has a sniper too saw pops down friendly turn why are my my bots aren't helping now there they go all right now they're helping party bot <laughs> the stag is attacking good stuff all right let's get right here and take a shot defense okay you can't take a shot right there uh, that's 95 percent 95 95 95 okay get right there take a shot barely did anything but okay I think we should be able to finish this off though, which is good. Uh, let's see, out of range. I move right here. Should be fine. That. Ah, oh, never mind. It wasn't full yet. All right, this should finish it off, honestly. Ah, oh, never mind. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Boom. There it is. Good stuff. Thank you, device 03. We will retrieve the may the great programmer reboot you. Ping to you, device 03. Cool. Alright, so search for Trudy. Uh da 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 da. Rudy, where you be? Nade box. Can I search this body? Oh man, poor doggo. Oh, is that Trudy? The dog? Hold up. Wait, the dog is Trudy? Dog collar. Trudy 31474. Oh, God. Trying to see if I can loot this thing. I don't know how you loot it though. I just I was on it a second ago. There. Add it. There it is. Loot the giant scorpion robot and everything else. Nice. Vehicle part. Scorpion uh, ornament. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, get out of here. Quick save there. Talk with Bulb. Get something. We're sorry, Bulb. Trudy, the dog, if it helps. We didn't think she suffered any. We brought her back her collar like you asked. Her life. 
Not unless they were asking for it, anyhow. <coughs> anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Damn them robots. Each and every one. I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. You, uh... <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? The hell is your problem? <laughs> Yeah, the Duke fucking Nolstacks had me by the short hairs for a while. And it worked like a dog to keep them and the patriarch satisfied. <laughs> now I'm right back where I started. Some fucking help you turned out to be. Don't come crying to me for no reward. Go on now, get. <laughs> Bro, I literally just got your I'm gonna. Alright, whatever. I ain't got no time for the likes of you. Get up my land, you partner. Alright, boomer. I ain't got no time for the likes. Actually.